Basketball Trending News. Your daily source for basketball news. It would have been considered a success story had Paul George simply returned to the NBA. Frankly, it might have been viewed similarly had he accomplished much less than that. But after appearing in his third All-Star game in February and guiding the Indiana Pacers back to the playoffs, George will make his Olympic debut on August 6 versus China. George said he does his best not to think about the night in August of 2014 when he suffered his gruesome, career-altering compound leg fracture. He doesn't want to revisit that place where his career trajectory was threatened. He doesn't want to be perpetually tied to that night in Las Vegas two years ago, chasing down James Harden before his leg crumpled against the basket stanchion in a Team USA scrimmage. That's why these upcoming Rio Olympics are important to him, not because he has anything to prove in terms of his physical recovery, but because there's still some mental work to be done. George who played 81 games and averaged a career-high 23.1 points in his first full season back for the Indiana Pacers, needs closure. 90% of the whole rehab is mental, George told USA Today Sports. You're doing the same stuff, day after day, that gets tiring. It's tedious work rehabbing. That was really the whole battle was how do I keep motivation. Aside from a brief six-game return, George watched as the Pacers barely missed the playoffs in 2015 after reaching back-to-back -back conference finals. Part of his incentive was getting the Pacers back into contention, something he sees as a possibility next season considering the additions of Jeff Teague, Thaddeus Young, and Al Jefferson. I think Al is as good as it gets in terms of low-post scorers, George said. Thaddeus has been very underrated, been forgotten about being in Brooklyn. But there was something else. USA Basketball Managing Director Jerry Colangelo promised George a spot on the 2016 Rio team as an impetus to get back. Not that George, who was at ease discussing his past at a recent Jeep-sponsored USA Basketball event, needed it. Coach K and I felt he was entitled to that spot, Colangelo told USA Today Sports. All he had to do was come back though Colangelo admitted to thinking the worst after the injury. It's literally steps, George said. You have to retrain yourself. Have to retrain how to walk, how to run, how to jump, how to cut. You got to get comfortable with that all over again. While he needed to retrain himself on basketball basics, remarkably, his confidence couldn't be shattered. Even before this past season, in which he tied career highs in both assists, 4.1 and steals, 1.9, on top of his scoring resurgence, George still felt he was an MVP candidate. That's internal strength, Galangelo said. You don't teach someone that, to have that kind of quality. Now four exhibitions and a handful of Team USA practices into the Olympic cycle, George has proven to be a vital component of this roster even though he missed Friday's exhibition with a left calf strain. Already among the NBA's most dependable two-way players, George, Colangelo's said, has terrific potential as an international player. I take it upon myself to be the defensive stopper for us, George said of his role. We have so many scorers, so many weapons offensively. He could have been referring to Kevin Durant, Carmelo Anthony or DeMarcus Cousins, high-volume scorers who have carried Team USA offensively in wins against Argentina. Venezuela and two victories against China. But versatile wings like Chicago's Jimmy Butler and George are the bedrock of Team USA's defense, especially as teams inevitably try to keep pace from the three-point line. The fact that he has such a defined role after Colangelo questioned whether he'd even come back at all shouldn't be lost on anyone. George has always been driven, but he admitted a newfound perspective after that devastating injury. Being away from the game you cherish it a whole lot more, he said. It's a reality that one day this thing could be all over. So stepping on that court, it's refreshing. I found a whole new love that I didn't think I could find in basketball. George doesn't need a Team USA gold medal to validate his remarkable return. That being said though, there's a mental aspect to his injury that can't be conquered unless the team wins a third consecutive gold. I think it kind of closes that chapter of being hurt, he said. 
I can put it out of my mind. I can move on to the next part. I think that really will signify, that gold medal, it's unbreakable. I feel that really just tells the whole story. Basketball Trending News, your source for the latest news in basketball. Be sure to subscribe to receive notice of our upcoming videos.